Hey guys, this is Dave. Thank you for watching as always. Today I'm sharing another pre-recorded video that I made before I left on my honeymoon, so I hope you enjoy this one. Today I thought it'd be interesting to just have a conversation with you guys. I got asked a question recently about, you know, where I saw this channel going and it really made me think because I realized I didn't really have a clue, you know. I knew I enjoy YouTube and I love investing and I love the space industry, but I don't really have a plan on where I want this to go, what the end goal is, why I'm even doing this really. Um, so I figured, yeah, it'd be fun to have a little bit of a high level talk about the channel, the portfolio and investing, and I hope you're all interested. Definitely going to be super casual, no script or anything like that on this one, just kind of my unfiltered thoughts. So why the heck am I doing this, spending all sorts of hours on this channel? Yeah, it's an interesting question that I don't often stop to think about. Uh, what I, I would be completely fine with my investment portfolio just holding the index funds. You know, I have a solid job. I could just work my day job, wait for those compounding returns on the index funds to take effect and retire, you know, in my 50s maybe. Uh, but, you know, I love investing and taking an active role in my portfolio. I find it a lot of fun and I do think I'm pretty good at it. And I get a lot of enjoyment out of it and fulfillment out of it. Like when I make one of those good trades and I get a good return knowing that I beat what the overall market's did and that if I were just holding an index fund, I wouldn't have done as well. I just get a feeling of immense satisfaction and that alone is worth a lot to me. Also, you know, I do have some financial goals. I'd love to be able to retire early or not necessarily retire, but have that financial independence. So if my job got taken away, I'd be completely fine. You know, if who knows what's happening in the future with AI and how many jobs are going to be lost or changed and what the industry is going to hold. So I do really like the idea of being in control of my own financial destiny um, and just, you know, being my own boss in that sense and being able to support myself. Uh, so that is also part of it for sure on the investing side of things. But beyond that, um, why am I focusing so much on Rocket Lab, so much on the space industry? And what I really think is that if, you're a retail investor such as myself and you're gonna focus on all industries and buy individual companies maybe a tech company a bank a insurance company and just like pick and choose companies from every single industry out there an energy company for example uh, i really don't see you outperforming some of the big funds i just think they have way more resources at their disposal and they'll be able to do way more in-depth research than you. So if that's your game plan, I do feel like maybe you should just hold the index funds. But if you can become incredibly knowledgeable and expert on, say, one industry and a few companies, uh, and have a very deep knowledge of them, then you do have a shot at outperforming and performing extremely well. Not guaranteed, but you have a decent shot at it if you really do become an expert, very deep expert in that narrow subject matter. Because you only really need a few big wins to really uh, just set your portfolio up for success. And that's kind of what I'm looking at here. So I've become what I consider at least, you can tell me if you think I'm off, but I feel like I've become a bit of an expert on Rocket Lab stock and I'm trying to become an expert on the entire uh, publicly traded space industry sector so that I can buy some of these companies and you know execute on the opportunities as they come up and I think that is where the the best chance of outperformance and perhaps the future of this channel lies I think I've done pretty well so far I continue to learn with every video I make every topic I research I learn more about the industry and just that learning the continuous learning is fascinating because before I started this channel I did feel like I was in a little bit of a rut with my career and just feeling a little bit uninterested and not challenged anymore so it's great every new topic I look into every new company I research um, when I build out a new DCF from scratch to try and value a company I find it challenging 
challenging and interesting and keeping me engaged, which is great. And hopefully I can make a lot of money off of that. And, you know, maybe you guys will make some money too as we follow these companies together. The overall space industry is set to grow at a much accelerated rate compared to a lot of other industries out there. Space is booming. We all see it. We see announcements all the time with, uh, you know, SpaceX, Amazon's Kuiper, AST, uh, telecommunications really going to space. We've got a new lunar race on our hands, the Artemis program, tons of new rockets coming online, a lot of fascinating companies right now to cover. And I've always just been fascinated with space ever since I was a kid. So I think this is a very good fit for me because not only from a financial side of things, can I research it and enjoy that from trying to make some money but I just find the science and kind of the grand vision of space so interesting and so fascinating so it's a win-win on both sides of things and when I do that mashup of some videos talking about the financials and some videos talking about you know the grand vision of companies where they're going and the overall technology uh, I hope that's a good combination to keep things interesting and not being super dry on the spreadsheets but also just uh, being able to capitalize on on those growth trends as we see them and taking those spreadsheets into account because I do think if you just bury yourself in the spreadsheets uh, you can miss the bigger picture and you do need to look at other things like obviously management of a company absolutely huge and that's why we spend a lot of time talking about Peter Beck and some of the other leaders of these other companies and who we really think is going to lead their company to success in the future. Uh, the products that they're coming out with, how good they are, how great the culture of the company is and there's just so many fascinating things that you can't really quantify on a spreadsheet and we dive into all that as well on this channel. So I would obviously love for your suggestions on the future of this channel and what kind of videos you'd like to see going forward. But for myself, I think we're going to continue to cover the space industry, continue to cover Rocket Lab in a great amount of depth, do uh, uh, grow my knowledge in that narrow range extremely deeply as opposed to having that broad knowledge of the overall stock market, which I feel like will not serve you as well for outperforming. I do hope that we'll be able to bring you more interviews from various companies. Obviously, I love talking with Rocket Lab Management any chance I get, but I have reached out to other companies as well, and I hope to be able to bring you more interviews and great content from them. So uh, we'll see. Some companies haven't got back to me. A couple have, and there's been some discussions on email and stuff like that. Because I think there's a lot of other really interesting space companies that aren't getting enough coverage. Rocket Lab is getting a lot of coverage and I love them and will continue to cover them in depth and it will remain my largest position in the space industry. But I think Intuitive Machines is getting quite interesting, Redwire is quite interesting, and there's a lot of interesting companies in the Earth observation side, whether it's Planet, a Black Sky, Spire. Uh, there's a lot going on in the space industry. I'm really looking forward to Sierra Space coming public. It's a very dynamic place right now. It'd be amazing if at some point in the future I was able to go to industry conferences and actually talk to people in person who work for these companies and pick their brains on where they see things going and bringing all that coverage to you guys and I hope you find it valuable and we can all make a lot of money together and achieve our financial goals together while being fans of the space industry. So if that sounds good to you, I hope you'll subscribe if you're not already, and please drop me a comment down below, especially if you are already a subscriber, and especially if you're a channel member, because I really do think you guys should get an extra stay in where this channel steers in the future. If you have any ideas on what kind of stuff you'd like to see that I'm not doing, or what you'd like to see more of, please do let me, do, let me know down below. I hope this video hasn't been too boring for you, just some thoughts. I also can't underestimate just the great amount of friends and experiences I've had from this whole YouTube thing so far. I never would have imagined the amount of people I met and talked to and learned from and the channel members who would support me. And then on the YouTube side of things, I mean, it's certainly not for that sweet, sweet YouTube money. Uh, I know my channel has grown a lot over the past year, which is great, and the members have been extremely supportive and actually do contribute largely to what I make from YouTube. But let me just say, if you go into YouTube planning to make a ton of money and that's your whole goal, uh, you're not going to be successful because that first year 
you're not going to make a dime and you're going to have to spend hours and hours of your own time. And even now, I think I'm probably making a lot less than minimum wage on my channel, although I am making a bit of money at this point, which is nice. So you really need to go into YouTube enjoying making videos, enjoying interacting with the community and your viewers and learning from your comments and, um, learning from the process of making videos more than anything. And what I will say about this whole YouTube thing is that it has forced me to do a lot more research than I normally would have done in the past. And I think it's made me a lot better of an investor because before I would have just been like, okay, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll throw a few thousand dollars at that company. And now I'm like, well, if I'm telling people online, I'm buying this company, I better do some research and really know about it and be sure because you know, I, I do believe everyone who watches me makes their own decisions and uh, it's not on me if you decide to buy a company that I'm thinking about, but I really want to make sure I know what I'm talking about and I think that has really driven me to become a lot more knowledgeable about these companies I talk about, which uh, is only to the benefit of my portfolio and my investing decisions and it's just been fun um, t meeting so many new people, learning so many new things, getting to talk with cool people. I mean, I never would have imagined that I would get to talk with Peter and Adam Spice. So yeah, that I think is more than anything where the YouTube side of it comes in. Of course, if I do end up being able to make enough money to support myself or have it as like a, a decent portion of my income, that would be great. I could, if you're interested right now, I can tell you guys I'm making maybe 400, 500 bucks a month on YouTube. Obviously my day job pays a lot more than that and that's nowhere near enough to support myself, which is not really what I expect to happen. But yeah, the, the hours I put into it, definitely uh, making a lot less on it than on my day job that much is for sure, but I do get the enjoyment out of it. So there's some complete transparency for you on the YouTube front. And uh, yeah, it's been a really fun ride for me so far and can't wait to see what the future has in store. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I hope this video wasn't too boring for you. I know it's a little bit different than my usual stuff, but we'll be getting back to that shortly. Don't you worry. Uh, hope you guys have a great day, a great rest of the week, and I will see you when I'm back from my honeymoon. Bye for now.